The ocean has its silent caves, deep, quiet and alone. Though there be fury on the waves, beneath them there is none. Early in the day it was whispered that we should sail in a boat. Only thou and I, never a soul in the world, would know of this our pilgrimage to no country and to no end. So today let us visit the deep dark caves of Elephanta. Racing with time has become a daily cult of our life. May it be in office where targets are there or may it be in life. But before that, let me share my travel details with you. As of now, I have boarded a train towards Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus. From there, I have to take a bus and reach Gateway of India. From Gateway of India, I have to take a ferry, a ferry that cost me around 260 rupees. A ferry worth its amount. One hour of a ride, a beautiful ride with windy and gusty air winds and a lot of seagulls on the way when you visit the Elephanta Caves. On the way encountering mammoth ship and beautiful landscapes as we bounce over the waves, we see the ferries go by and when we look ahead, we find our destiny, that elephant cave. Make sure the sea breeze can put you asleep. So cool each glade, each grot within the isle, ocean and sky all withering heat the while. It well might seem the small and bright domain of eastern fate. The island is located on the Sea of Oman and it is as beautiful and majestic as From the JP at the expense of 10 rupees per head, you can avail this toy train to reach to the Elephanta Cave Island. On the right, the beautiful view of the landscape is bound to spellbound you for a long time. You can also walk beside the toy train and view the beautiful landscape and reach your destination in 10 minutes from the JT. On the way you will encounter a lot of gift shops and food counters which are very delicious. As you walk by, you will encounter a first ticket counter where you have to pay 5 rupees as local tax to get inside. Just for the sake of information, this island have received its first electric supply just 4 years ago. As we hike up over the rocky stairs towards our destination, the Elephanta Caves, we can find gift shops on both sides of the road. Land at the cove and climb the Bowery Steep, where rocks are clothed with moss and rivulets weep. Then might we rest to gaze around below and watch old ocean's everlasting flow. Once more ascend wide opening in the hill, Carved from rocks with all surpassing skill. Pillar on pillar, niche and lofty hall, statues that seem to speak from every wall. The memory of man has lost their rise, although they are his work. Two senses are present, one of power and one of nothingness. Doth it not mock? The might mind be to see the minor part. The task it taught its hands outlast itself. The temple was a type, a thing of stone, built by laborious days 
which made up yours the creed which hallowed it was of the soul and yet the creed hath passed the temple stands the high beliefs which raised themselves to heaven the general truth on which the religions grow the strong necessity of self restraint the needful comfort of some future hope than that was promise only binds today and future fear parent of my faith those vast desire unquenchable which sweep beyond the limits of our little world Wow, she was mighty temple, seen more grand, more darkly wondrous, boast not India's land. Hath some enchanter dug in gloomy pride his gorgeous palace in that mountain side? And one should know there is another by themselves. These constitute the spiritual of man. It is they who elevate and who redeem. by some great purpose some on looking end the mere brute exercise of common strength yet this have left no press the mighty shrine undefied speaks force and only force man's manniest of attribute and is this temple by the rolling wave revered no more by the monarch priest or slave no desolation claims its mountain cells and pulseless silences in each chamber dwells pilgrims from distant regions comes no more no kneeling zealots tremble and adore the swallow's bills within the roof of stone the prowling fox hides here secure and lone and when night's planets gems the indian deep webs yellow sands each shrub and flower sleep phantom city said beneath the pillars glide while she was blood stained sword is waving wide and many a god who's from the eye of all nods on this throne or moves along the walls and yet the time when the white robed brahmins here worship their gods and taught their creed of fear when jewels sparkled incense fire burned bright and gong and cymbal stunned the years of night it is sad to know that this rock cut temples and caves were destroyed by the portuguese invaders in the early 5000 ad it has been learned from the locals that these rock statues were destroyed by the portuguese by use of bullets which they used to fire on these statues In Elephanta caves there are total of 6 caves that you can witness out of which 3 are well maintained by the government of India and the archaeological survey and other 3 are in a ruined condition After visiting all the caves now we are trekking ahead to our next destination I call it the Guns of Navarre The more you hike up the more beautiful is the sea and the distant landscape You can find several food joints on the way where Maggie lemon water and cold drinks are sufficiently available
Once we reach the top of the island, the view is breathtaking. Here we can also find our beloved guns of Navarin. Maybe the Portuguese used to use it to protect their seas from their enemies. It was a tiring day and a lot of walking, so it's better to take a rest and look at the beautiful sea ahead. It's time to head back home. It was a beautiful day and a wonderful place to visit. Please don't forget to subscribe, share and like.